Hello and welcome to Whiskey Whims with me Stuart and once again Jasper's here. Today doing something different for you all. I'm going to open a recent whiskey option purchase. So I've got a big box here. It says fragile. Obviously it's fragile because of the contents. So I'm going to get right into this, open it up and show you what I got. You'll need to bear with me. That's the box empty, and I thought I'd got more whiskies than I actually ordered there. I only ordered three, um, and I thought I got a bit lucky and maybe got two extra, but I guess they were just using it for packaging. So anyway, I'll open up these ones and show you what I got. As you can see, Jasper's left me. As soon as there's an open box in the house, he claims it for himself. So the first whiskey I got from the auction was this Lechegue 12 year old bottled at 58.4% ABV and only 636 bottles produced. I think round about the time it was £74 or £75 and I got it off the auction for £90 which isn't too bad in my eyes. This was created uh, specifically for the whiskey show in London which last year celebrated its 10th anniversary and the theme of the show was the future of whiskey. There were three whiskies that stood out to a lot of people. Uh, the first being a Ben Nevis, which was, I think, 21 years old, and that was called Past Future. There was this Lechegue, which is called Present Future, and there was also an Invergordon, 44-year-old, which was just called The Future. Uh, and also the Invergordon was the only one which was green whiskey, the rest were just single malt. What I like about this already is uh, I did see and kind of look up on it when I was watching it on the auction is the, the label is a, a kind of pictograph so it moves when you move the bottle which is, is really interesting, never seen anything like that before and I believe the other bottles are similar. The label really blows me away. It's something unique, something I've not really seen before and just by moving it you can see how it changes. A pretty cool label, definitely futuristic, goes well with the bottle. Also. It's done in a, a sherry butt, I think it's 12 years in the sherry butt and the reviews that I've looked up so far of this whiskey uh, a lot of people are giving it high marks so it'll, it'll be good to um, try it I suppose I suppose I should open it and try it but I'm not sure what I want to do with it yet if I want to keep it but from the uh, reviews that it has got it's kind of tempting me to, to open it and try it So that's the first whiskey I got I'll get round to the next one the next whiskey I got is this Wolfburn Poppy Scotland now this caught my eye because of the the reason that it was made and that this is why I kind of wanted it and wanted to try it. So it was made to commemorate the centenary of Armistice. 1,918 bottles were made. They were RRP at £75 and for each bottle bought, £5 was given, donated to Poppy Scotland. So it's a good cause uh, and it's a great reason to create a whiskey uh, in my eyes. Wolfburn itself, a little bit about the distillery, uh, they were one of the largest producing distilleries in Scotland and they were said to produce about 28,000 gallons of uh, proof spirit a year, uh, just what the records show and they stopped uh, producing I think in 1870 and then it was confirmed that the, the place was in ruins by 1877, uh, completely rubble and just falling apart really. However in 2011 the distillery was decided to be brought back from the dead and by 2013 once again Wolfburn were producing. I've done a review of Wolfburn Morvin and frankly I, I didn't rate it very much however I'm, I've got high hopes for this whiskey so I'm glad I got it and 
I got it for seventy five pound off the auction, so I, I sort of broke even with that. Uh, when you when you think about kind of um, buyer's commission and tax, so that's the second whiskey. I'll get up round to opening the third. The final whisky I picked up from the auction is this Blair Athol 23 year old and it's probably the one I'm most excited to try because I'm going to open it straight away, hopefully tonight. So it's bottled by Old Malt Cask, it's 23 year old, 50% ABV which is quite good and my main reason for getting this was because I had the Flora and Fauna 12 year old that I need to do a review of, it's an absolute amazing whisky, I love it so much and I also recently tried the seven-year-old Blair Atho, which was okay. And then I tried the 14-year-old Distiller's Art and I ended up buying a bottle of that because I really enjoyed that. So at the moment I've got a thing for Blair Atho, going through a Blair Atho phase. So I can't wait to open this up and try it. On the auction I got this for £70 and I think at the moment on certain sites, AB, um, the average RRP is about 75, 70, 80 pound. So I think that was a good price for this. And like I said, I can't wait to open it. So that's the three I got, the three bottles I got from the auction. The Blair Athol 23 year old at 70 pound. The Wolfburn Poppy Scotland 2018 at 75 pound. And the Lechig 12 year old at 90 pound. So they're what I picked up from the auction and most likely I'll probably keep this one for a while and probably open these two at some point. This one's definitely getting open tonight uh, but I'll open it this one at some point in the future and hopefully do a review of it as well. So I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Whims. Once again thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the content please do subscribe. If you've got any feedback I'd love to hear it in the comments and that's pretty much it. See you later.